Okay, today I will teach you a very simple method to reprogram your brain. First of all, your brain is uh, a tool. It's not you. It's a tool which uses the mental processes. Very complex. Uh, it's a very good tool. Very uh, have a lot of capabilities. But the problem is that they caught you when you were children and they put some programs in you uh, which are designed to put you into the position of uh, slaves, fearful slaves and do your slave job and be a very um, adapted to this society, not be uh, creative. They destroy your creativity and you have to be the perfect slaves. So they put these uh, programs in your head uh, they start with programs, then your brain built the circuit, he builds the hardware and those uh, behavior become a part of you because they are automatic, they are automatic. So they start with the language, then your brain built the, the hardware. So today we're gonna discover a language which is adapted to our brain to reprogram the brain and uh, make a new hardware appear in our brain. We will use for this uh, method the city, the streets of the city, the special uh, features of your brain. Your brain knows your city when you walk, knows the streets. So we will use this uh, city, the streets of the city, uh, some points in the city to uh, to put some uh, concepts in these places according to what you need and uh, reprogram our brain. Let's start with an example. For example, you have uh, one person which is always on your back, you know, always uh, like a vampire, energetic vampire. And uh, you just cannot confront this person because you don't hate it specially, because it will feed this uh, vampire, because it will feed the vampire that is manipulating this, uh, this person, something like that. So you always think about it, and by thinking about this uh, person, you are feeding this uh, vampire by etheric ways. So, uh, in this case, I advise you, for example, to go in one street, that you uh, you think it's okay to and look for a small bit in the pavement like some corner in the pavement and put this person there put it put uh, this person metaphysically in this small corner of the pavement and you will not uh, think about this person unless you go physically to this point you go physically or also you can go with your head metaphysically you go there so you put really, you go there with your feet and you look to this piece of pavement and you will put this uh, problematic person, for example, there. And then you stop thinking about the person, you leave the street. And if you think about this person and uh, you are not in the street, no, you say I'm not in the street. Just put it back in your head in this uh, small corner. And when you want to think about uh, this person, you just go there physically if you want. And, and then you can just go uh, metaphysically, go in your head to this street when you have to think about this person. I can guarantee in this case that the etheric link will be cut. Your energy will not go to this uh, vampiric person or for the vampire manipulating this person. So this is a very powerful technique. I think in the three days or something, the brain will make new circuits which uh, will trigger new uh, energetic construct of yourself and how you deal with the situation. So this is the first example. Uh, second example, for example, if you if you are too much into the past, if you are always into thinking about your past and everything, in this case you choose a place of the city or another city or another country, this is really depending on how you feel it, and you will create a, a metaphysical small box small box which is not real it is uh, I, I advise you to put it uh, three centimeters by three centimeters 
and then put it in this place far away from you a little bit because it's the past so put it in some parking or something that uh, you you have known in uh, in your past and you don't go there anymore put this small box of your past there and every time you are in the past when you think just say oh I'm, uh, I have to put it in this small box you know I'm not in the box I'm, I'm in the past and you put put this uh, this uh, object of your thinking which are from the past put them in the in the box let them in the box so this is what you can do with your past uh, create a metaphysical box and put it there so the concept of the past always being in the past there is also the concept for example of uh, thinking always using your intellect in this case also you will create a metaphysical box I advise you to put it next to a nice tree in the nature so this intellect will have some rest so put this small uh, box of, uh, of the intellect always thinking the thinking machine put it na next to, to a nice tree in the park for example those are just example of course you will adapt according to your energetic signature and the way you perceive things okay for example the intellect we put it next to a tree if you worry for example for what people think about you you are too worried about your image about what you what people think oh, I'm like this oh this guy is looking at me this uh, this and that and uh, what I am how I how I look and all this stuff you can create a small box three by three centimeters you can vary the size if you want according to your stuffs and you will put every time you you feel like uh, oh somebody is thinking about me put it in the box you know always put it in this small box and close the box you know this is an example what kind of boxes you can create you can create a lot of boxes use the city map I advise you to go to go the first time physically there to create the box to create the point and uh, and then to uh, to go uh, in your head when you have to deal with this situation here we are creating a, a language a language to interact with our brain because our brain understands space for some people they are very into sp spatial uh, they, they really feel okay with the space in this particular language we are using the space so after like I told you after some days the brain will uh, make those uh, language those concepts into real circuits so he will make the hardware so what will happen is that you will the brain will do this stuff automatically like your past will not be that important what people think about you will not be that important you will not see the street or something specially but the reality will change because you have found a language a language to reprogram the brain this is very important they will not teach you this there is a lot of science uh, called the uh, neuroergonomy neuroergonomy or something like that so they look for better ways to interact with the brain but it is used to make uh, better uh, pilots in the uh, for jet fighters to to uh, very quickly shoot using a helmet which will uh, give them information and they will just blink an eye and destroy more planes and kill more people so this science of neuro neuro neuroergonomy ergonomy is uh, is used uh, not for our benefits they will maybe use it to make better slaves that you will work uh, better in the factories maybe do better mathematics in your head you know it's uh, it's so important you know to, to be a calculator to make their uh, their uh, to engineer their shitty uh, shitty cars and all the shit so they will not give you this so we have to use this neuro ergonomy to uh, to uh, take back our tool which is our brain our brain is just a tool it's not us we we are the soul we are the soul we are the consciousness and we can reprogram this brain and use its power because once we free we free the space like a, a small language a programming language that I invented which is based on the space the city you can invent other languages if you feel like there is no limit um, uh, with this language we can uh, reprogram our brain and claim back all the power that is in it but not use it for doing mathematics you know 
and uh, be s smart monkeys and do uh, better slaves in the system but do it to have a better life in our interaction with the uh, other people in our interaction with uh, our past with our feelings and everything so this is uh, one language I invented I uh, you can add on it and uh, this is just a beta version you know even the name I didn't find a name maybe brain space or something like that so you get the idea so we are free to do what do we want so you have to be really step into other stuffs and uh, discover all the the capabilities of your brain uh, yes they use this science for, uh, for, for for making better slaves but when it comes to our problems maybe they will let us with this uh, Freud with this pervert pedophile you know to solve our problem this guy this guy is supposed to solve our problems you know this dirty guy so you get the idea uh, for the spiritual people uh, this uh, this is a very powerful tool because our brain also is doing some um, some stuff on a spiritual level so we can go very subtle in the way we use this spe specialization speci specialization into the space to uh, to maybe uh, stop some um, some behavior of the brain uh, that are not good on uh, on a spiritual level for example our le our brain is looping uh, the um, the physical experience and uh, he he make this uh, very physical experience of the body into something mental and then feed it back to fields of memory you know and then when the when the, the experience is not there anymore he expected to come back and he's uh, maybe not satisfied so we are looping the information from the from the density from the reality of the body to uh, fields of memory and those cycles uh, are in ourselves and they might be really the small version of uh, the Kali Yuga and the golden age uh, gold age you know like a cycle after a cycle of good cycle of slightly not good and slight and cycle of uh, of dark you know so those cycles are maybe encoded into ourselves the way we use our brain which is a very powerful tool interfering with the with the other uh, other fields of information immaterial fields of uh, information so we can use this brain also to to break this uh, this uh, this cycle satanic cycle the realm of satan when when we interpret the the exp uh, the, the real uh, physical ex uh, experience when we when we make a copy of it in our brain and we feed it back to the memories to the fields of memories informational field we are playing the the game of uh, of saturn uh, like cycles repeating themselves and this golden age be very very um, be very careful about this because this golden age just offers you uh, like a moment where your uh, your thinking process your mental can uh, create between bracket uh, stuffs that you like in the physicality so it's just a period that will disappear so uh, we call it putting flowers in the prison golden uh, the gold age is uh, putting flowers in our prison we were looking for we are looking for something more than this we are looking for really to bring uh, the primary light into the matter and not not looping the information back into cycles and getting trapped and this is what we're gonna do our friends the the people who are into uh, a slightly um, spiritual path not uh, who are seeker seekers of uh, truth okay I'm approaching the 15 minutes so you got the idea it's just uh, a very small video but uh, the subject is very wide thank you very much